case you didn't figure it out, we're uh, we're working ground today. I am on my fifth field of the day, and I've only gotten 10, 15. I've only got about 30 acres worked up, but I'm on my fifth field. That's the problem with a lot of small fields is you, you feel like you're getting a lot done, but realistically you're, you're not. Dries up fast when the sun comes out. Well, I am on field number 16 of the day. Um, I think I'm going to run here for another, I don't know, hour, couple hours, and I'm going to go home go to bed. Rain doesn't look like it's going to hit us till about 3 o'clock tomorrow, so I'm going to uh, just kind of run a little bit longer yet tonight, and then uh, go home, go to bed, and I'll continue this video on in the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. Deja vu, right? Morning! Alright, I got about a five hour nap. Um, I've got this field here to finish up. I did the headlands last night before I went home. Uh, I did that field last night before I went home. As soon as I get done with this field, we're jumping across the street and doing, I think it's like 60 acres over there total. We're going to go knock that out, and then we're going to go to a 200 acre chunk. And hopefully, I'll be able to get all this broken open before it starts raining at 3 o'clock, they say. I guess we'll find out. Um, yesterday was very uneventful which was a good thing for a farmer, bad for YouTube content. So I'm anticipating something major to cut loose today, I guess, because you can't go two days in a row uneventful. Knock on wood. Remember when I said it uneventful? She stuck. Yeah, let me see if I can climb around here, show you how, uh, how stuck she is. I think if I drop, pull the pin on the disc, I think I can drive the tractor out. Then I'll have to go get a rope and then pull this out. Garbage. The problem is pulling the pin. There's a lot of tension there yet. Well, I got the tractor out. Now I gotta walk up to my truck, get my truck, go back to the farm, get the big rope, some chains, and my rubber boots, hook up to that and get that pulled out. Time to go hiking. All right, I've got three chains, the big rope, a strap, a jack, some blocks so now it's a matter of going back out there and seeing if we can recover that pig not my proudest moment but it happens from time to time not the first time I've ever got a tractor stuck I'm sure it won't be the last all right let's see if we can do this without breaking a chain Came out. Ooh, I worked up a sweat doing that. All right, she's all hooked up. I guess now to unfold it and see what's going on. Um, 
here's a little explanation. I am currently working at a field that has construction going on. And it's been going on for a couple years now. This one particular field I have to access through there. And they keep, they seem to keep changing foremans. And every foreman I tell, you have to leave me an opening to get access to this field, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's no problem, no problem. They're all nice. But the minute I come back to spray, plant, disc, field cultivate, spread fertilizer, whatever, there's no opening. And I always have to say something to them. Well, this past fall, when I was harvesting here, I got into this field probably 11 o'clock at night. So nobody was around and there was no opening. So I went through that area right there with the combine went through it no problem at all and i thought today i'll save some time by going up and chit telling them guys to leave me an opening i'll just cut through here and be done yeah it ended up costing me more time doing what i did it's one of those things when you're in a hurry but it is what it is i had a conversation with the foreman of the construction company here and the guy is super awesome. I told him, I'm like, you know, I, I know you guys change foremans quite a bit, and every foreman I have the same conversation with, blah, blah, blah. And I says, told him, you, I, you guys have to leave me an opening so I can get equipment in. And he goes, okay, no problem. And the next thing I know, he's in a payloader, and his he's got one of his guys in a skid steer, and they built me an approach over there. They laid gravel down, everything, and built me a real nice approach getting into the field. So that was awesome. Rain looks like it's getting close. I looked at radar a few minutes ago, and it's, it's in the vicinity. Hopefully I can get the rest of this field done and maybe that other field done before the rain shuts me down, but we'll see. My little uh, mishap cost me from getting this farm done. I'm sure of it. Starting to get drops on the window. Even on the back fender. Look at that. As I'm making this last pass up to the truck, I'm fighting the urge, fighting the urge to turn on the windshield wiper, because I know it's just going to smear. Duh. I have to. I have to. Now I can't see nothing. Awesome. <laughs> I can see a little right here. And there's no squirter juice in here either. I tried hitting the button. It didn't do nothing. Well, got as much done as I could, I guess. Can't complain about that. I did, however, get a phone call from the P.O. box place saying that I had a package there that would not fit in my box. So, I guess I'm going to run up there and see what I got. I just stopped by the farm there real quick and it doesn't even look like it rained here. Figures. I get enough rain over where I'm working to shut me down and then drive 10 miles to the farm and nothing oh well got my package um, I think it's my Thunder Roads magazines I think that's what it is and then I stopped and got the mail at the end of the driveway when I was pulling in but it is now raining here alright guys I'm going to end the video here I'm going to go in and kind of relax a little bit um, running on not a lot of sleep, so 
thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.